Hey guys, Chip here. Today, I just want to show you real quick how I colorize folders in Windows. And I know there are several apps out there for them, but every time you download one of those free apps, I just am afraid of what you're going to end up installing on your system. So I try not to do that unless I absolutely have to. This is just a manual way you can do it. It takes a little bit longer, but I find I don't need to do it that often. So I'll show you my process. It's going to look over here in my quick access settings. You, know, you right click on these and you can see that these are the quick access. You can see there's different colors of folders in there. I use one for 3D printing, but I like them because I can identify pretty quickly over here in my quick access, you know, by color. I start to realize that color is a better interface for identifying things you go after a lot. So anyway, let's just talk about how we do this. The first thing we'll mention is that we have this website, flat icon, that I just go and I find something like this and I can download it. If I click on it, I, I find I only need 256 free download right there, attribution required from King Design Flat. So this is a ping file. And when you download it, you can open it up in something like Photoshop. In this particular case, I'm just going to go under here and I'm going to add a hue saturation filter to this. And I'll just move the hue all over. And I'll say file. And I'll say export as ping. And name it whatever. You notice I got blue. I've got a whole bunch of these ones. So I'm already done, right? So... But as you move this around, as you export them, you can just get different colors. You know, you can change the saturation if you want. You can change the lightness. You get a folder full of these guys. And then once you're done, jump over here to icoconverter.com and just select 256. You choose the file. You find that ping file, whatever one you want. Let's grab this red one, for instance. And you say convert. And you'll see that when we go into this folder, there it is right there. So there's that. ICO file. So now, how do you apply that? Let's take a look at that. Let's go back to here and let's say that I want to colorize my GitHub icon. I'll go here. I'll go find this folder GitHub. I'll right click on it. I'll go into properties and under properties, there's this customize button, change icon, and then browse to that folder wherever you saved it, right? I'm looking over here. What color do I want? Maybe something like this. Lime one. We'll do that one. There you go. Open. Okay. Now I've got this green over here, but it's not green here. I just drag it over here. It'll update as we go. That's kind of how all that works. Very simple. Just create a folder and convert the pig files into icons and you're pretty much good to go. Hope that's helpful for some of you. Thanks for watching. See you online. Bye.